This personal flying machine doesn't actually exist yet, but its design shows how electric propulsion could offer a wider range of possibilities than turbines and other traditional engines. It's called the Puffin, and it was developed by NASA with engineers from MIT, Georgia Tech, MDOT Aerospace, and the National Institute of Aerospace. The aircraft lands and takes off like a helicopter, with a tail section that splits open to reveal the landing gear. Once in the air, it leans forward and flies like an airplane at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. It does this thanks to a redundant set of electric motors that are designed to fail and still produce enough power to hover, meaning you don't have to worry about stalled puffins falling out of the sky. The electric motors are quieter, cleaner, and lighter than traditional engines. The whole aircraft weighs just 400 pounds. But with a battery life of 50 miles, it's not meant for long hauls. Still, flying over that rush hour gridlock would be very nice. But what about that name, the Puffin? Why not something like the Helicar or the Screaming Eagle Chopper Plane? In a press release, aerospace engineer and Puffin conceptual designer Mark Moore said, quote, if you've ever seen a Puffin on the ground, it looks very awkward with wings too small to fly. And that's exactly what our vehicle looks like. But it's also apparently called the most environmentally friendly bird because it hides its poop. So the vehicle is environmentally friendly because it essentially has no emissions. Also, puffins tend to live in solitude, only ever coming together on land to mate, and ours is a one-person vehicle. A scaled-down remote-controlled model of the aircraft is under construction by one of NASA's research partners, with hover tests scheduled for March and flight transition tests after that. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.